We're now at 8.1b, and we're going to be finding length, width, and area of scale drawings. A scale drawing is a proportional, two-dimensional drawing of an object that can represent objects that are smaller or larger than the drawing. An 8-inch by 10-inch drawing in a sketchbook could represent an 8-foot by 10-foot wall mural. A scale drawing must be proportional to a life-size drawing of the same object. Proportional drawings are similar. The figures have the same shape, but not the same size. A scale is a ratio between two sets of measurements. A scale shows how the dimension in a scale drawing is related to the actual object. So an artist could make a scale drawing of this big wall mural in their sketchbook to design it and plan how they want the wall mural to look. Scales are usually shown as two numbers separated by a colon. So a colon has two dots, above one above the other like this, and we read it as two. A semicolon has a dot above a comma, so be careful, we're using the two dots, okay? If each one centimeter of a drawing represented six centimeters of actual size, we would write the scale as one, two, six. If each one inch represented 20 miles on a map, we would write one to 20. Scales can be shown in the same units, like we did here with centimeter to centimeter, or in different units, like an inch to miles. We can solve scale drawing problems by using proportional reasoning. I don't know if you remember that, but we did cover it in 7th grade math, 4.2a, b, and c, and they're linked in this description if you need a review. So Sarah is planning to paint a mural on a wall. In her sketchbook, she makes a scale drawing. What is the area of the actual mural? In her drawing, We've got eight inches here and three inches here, and her scale is two inches to three feet. For step one, we find the number of feet represented by one inch in the drawing. Two inches to three feet. Two inches to three feet. We can divide by two, this two, and it's equal to one inch to one and five tenths feet. That means one inch in Sarah's drawing is equal to one and five tenths feet, or one and a half, on the actual wall, on the mural. For step two, we find the height of the actual mural labeled three inches in the drawing. So we're gonna find this actual height. If we know that one inch to one and five tenths feet is the number of feet represented by one inch in the drawing. We can multiply this one inch times the three inches and the one and five tenths feet times the three and we get three inches to four and five tenths feet. That means the height of the actual mural is four and five tenths feet. It's four and a half feet. Now we do the same thing for the length. We find the length of the actual mural labeled eight inches in the drawing. We know we can use this same ratio here. We have one inch times eight for the eight inches and one and five tenths feet times eight because of the eight inches. And one and five tenths times eight is 12. That means the length of the actual mural is 12 feet. It originally told us to find the area of the actual mural. The formula for the area of a quadrilateral is area is equal to length times width. A is equal to LW. Well, we know that this is four and five tenths feet, and this is 12 feet. 
we know it was eight inches in the drawing and three inches for our width in the drawing. We can use this information to help us. We have area is equal to length times width. We have 12 for our length, 12 feet, and we have 4 and 5 tenths feet for our width. We do 12 times 4 and 5 tenths and we get 54. And that's going to be in feet, isn't it? Because these are in feet. And because we're doing area, it's going to be squared. So remember to write the area in square units. So the area of Sarah's mural is 54 feet squared or 54 square feet. It's very important you remember the square units. Remember a unit rate is a rate in which the second quantity in the comparison is one unit. So the second quantity could be the denominator, right? We can write the scale for Sarah's mural and drawing as a unit rate. We know in her drawing it was three inches for our width and four and five tenths feet for the actual mural we can divide both the numerator and denominator by this four and five tenths and we'll get a one as our second quantity, the denominator. We want one as a denominator, so since this is 4.5, we divide by 4.5 to get a one. That means we have to divide the three inches by 4.5 and we get two thirds inch. Or if you do it on a calculator, it'll come out as 0. 6, 6, and you can put a line over it because it keeps repeating. So we can use either the length values or the width values. I chose to use the width values by dividing the numerator and denominator by the value of the denominator, we'll get a unit rate with one as the second quantity, its denominator. We can write the ratio of the area of Sarah's drawing to the area of the actual mural. We have the area of the drawing is 8 by 3, that's going to give us 24 inches square, and the area of the actual mural is 12 by 4.5 feet, so that's going to give us 54 feet squared, and the ratio is 24 inches squared to 54 feet squared. We can write it with the colon as 24 inches squared to 54 feet squared, or we can write it as a fraction like this. Either way, we've written the ratio. All right, we finished 8.1b. We're going to move on to the third part, drawing in different scales. Always keep in mind, when I put in review videos into the description, it's not that big of a deal if you need to watch them. It could be the difference between getting an A on a test or getting a C on a test or lower. So if you need to review, don't feel bad about it. Just do it quickly and go through the videos. I hope you have a great day, and I hope you join me for the third part of the lesson. Bye.